so I'm back at this journal spread. And I'm not going to do too much because I have to keep an eye on the time before I pick up my youngest one from school. But I did want to film some more with you just so you can see my process. And, you know, it's, I also think it's just fun to see when someone's doing art and, and watching uh, a painting or an image come to life bit by bit. So what I did do off camera was I took some of my white charcoal and I just highlighted over the edging on some of these like petals or whatever you want to call them. Um, I only did it to a few because I'm not sure if I want to go that direction for all of them. And if I don't, it's not a big deal. Just some water will take that off. But for now, I just did it just to kind of give me an idea. And now I'm going to go over the fish here with yellow that I did yellow originally. I'm now going to use this olive green color. And see what happens. The lighting's not too good. Let me see if I can zoom in. Um, afternoon sun in my studio isn't always kind. All right, so I'm just going over with this lime green and the yellow is still kind of coming through, which is perfectly fine. It's just to play around with layers and seeing what happens. And that's the whole point, which is another reason why I wanted to film this and share it with you, is that as we begin to do the monthly journal prompts together, that you're not going to have it all figured out or, you know, a layer of paint goes down and right away it's, oh, there you go, it's perfect. I mean, you could. <laughs> um, I hardly ever have that happen. And usually it's a process. Usually it's several layers. And sometimes layer upon layer adds a lot more depth to a painting. Like this green, this olive green takes on a whole new dimension because of the yellow base coat that is originally here. All right, so we have that <clears throat> now. And again, it's just about playing. So I might do something and I think, oh, why did I do that? And I will take it away or add another layer. So now I'm just taking this unbleached titanium and I am going to go over this while the paint is wet. I really shouldn't be dabbing my paintbrush directly into my jar of paint while it still has green on it, but I like to live dangerously. All right. Let's see what that does. And I'm not, you know, the lines are all, the edging of the fish are not exactly perfect and you know what that's fine because I can easily go over that later on as I usually do with um, a pastel or something so or a chalk a charcoal I mean charcoal block so it's not a big deal and so this is not about painting the fish the um, unbleached titanium. It's about adding the unbleached titanium color to the still wet green olive green paint to just to give it an added dimension or look to the color of olive green. And <clears throat> okay, 
Okay, so now I have excess paint. So I am going to get another art journal. And I'm going to, without getting, I'm just going to wipe it on here. And this way, nothing ever goes to waste. There we go. Now, this little mark up here on this petal, if you could see, that is a boo boo. I thought the petals were dry and this particular one I guess had a little bit more thicker paint than the others and so when I closed the book earlier and then obviously reopened it it took off some of the paint so that's not a big deal I'll worry about that later okay so there's that layer I'm going to stop and wait a bit I think actually let me see here well, this paint is, I was going to wait till it dries, but let's for fun see what happens when I go back with some yellow dude on this fish. So now we have olive green and unbleached titanium white. And I'm probably going to say this wrong, cadmium yellow or just yellow don't need to get too fancy with the wording okay let's see moosh moosh with the finger how's that So much like the titanium white wasn't making the fish white, this yellow is not about making the fish back to yellow again. If you're thinking, Tina, you originally had it yellow. Why are you going back? It's about back and forth and adding dimension. Okay, so um, let's see here. I also have... I'm going to try this. Just a touch. Um, oh, no. See? Don't like that. All right. I don't like that because uh, it's um, against a black background or a dark background. So the makes the fish a little bit too dark. So I'm just gonna clean my brush. And I'm going to reintroduce the green into this. And go over that. Now the green here will look a little different than the other fish now, but that is okay. They don't have to be identical fish. Okay. All right. Okay, so I think that I'm going to stop there for now because I have to watch the time. Um, so the next time I come back on and do some more, I'm going to see if I'm happy with this final color of the fish. Sometimes too, it's just about adding the little details, right? So I might add some symbols to the fish. Um, going over the edging, the outline of the fish will help too in cleaning it, in, um, cleaning it up. So I'm going to do that as well. And I might even play some more um, with the petals that are on the side of her face. But we shall see, and that will be a video for another time. Thanks for watching.